All right, uh, last handout, uh, chapter 12. We're only gonna do one thing out of chapter 12. And that is the, um, uh, calculating the free cash flow to equity. What this method is usually used for, this is usually used for companies that are not paying dividends. So companies that aren't paying dividends, uh, there is a discounted dividend model, but uh, if they're not paying dividends, there's nothing to discount. So a lot of times this is used for, like I say, companies that are not paying dividends because they're reinvesting the money back into the company. And the question is, well, if they're not paying dividends, how do you value the company? Because you can't discount the, the dividends back. Okay, so we're gonna go through this as free cash flow to equity. Uh, the first one uh, you may have noticed is probably not one that you're going to use for most of the time when you're using this because this is if they are paying dividends. If they are paying dividends, usually you just discount them. But uh, we go through each of these three methods. They can ask you any three of these methods on the test, so we'll go through. And I just transferred this data here. And down to here. So these are exactly the same. I just got them down here so they can uh, be on the same screen. Okay, so we'll go through each of these methods and they should come out with the same uh, free cash flow to equity. Okay. So the first one says, uh, dividends paid. So I'm just going to go over and grab dividends paid. Less any net issuance of common stock. So this one's pretty easy. Uh, the thing is, it's probably not if they already are paying dividends, you may just want to use the uh, discounted dividend model. But regardless, the other two are, are probably more commonly used because it's for companies that are not um, using this model. Okay, method two is kind of a convoluted one, but this is the one that a lot of times you'll see. There's also a simpler form of it that I'll show you maybe at the end here. Okay, cash flows from operations. Less increase and operating cash. That's just cash, by the way. Plus cash from investing. Investing cash is usually negative. You could usually buy equipment more. You, you, you buy, you pay more for equipment than you sell it for. Uh, plus increase in debt. Uh, this is actually gonna be a decrease in debt. And there we go, 900 also. Lastly, we have net income, less increase in equity, in common equity, I should say. And what this does is, is this really comes out and says, okay, what is, oops, let's not do that, try that again. Uh, what is really free to pay to um, the common uh, shareholders? You know, what is what is free for them to uh, actually get paid out? The way usually you see this, it looks like this. 
Um, and by the way, I, I, I'm not. Uh, not be smirching the book at all. It's just, uh, the, the, usually this is the, this is the way that you usually see it. Uh, let's see, let's go, let's go staying. And then usually you add. Now this one's a little strange because they paid off a bunch of debt. Usually they issue debt if they're growing anyways. But this is, usually the way you see it. Now this is, the only difference between that and this is the 788, the increase in operating cash. So that, that, that's the only uh, difference. Between, but this is a lot of ways, a lot of times you'll see this one. This would be the uh, free, free cash loan equity. So this is another one you'll see sometimes. And this is not, Not in the textbook, so don't use it. Uh, if, you're, if you're doing a project or something like that, this is probably the more common of these, um, but it is uh, not in the textbook. So if you use this one on the test, you will get a wrong answer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so again, usually this is used to try to, um, try to figure out how much could they pay out in dividends. Yeah, it, and they say, usually they say, okay, what's the, what's the stock worth? And they, they say, okay, it's going to pay this much in dividends in the future. And you can discount those back and then figure out what the price is. The problem is that they're not paying dividends. And a lot of times growing companies don't pay dividends. Uh, a, they need the money and, and B, they're growing fast. So you want to keep the money. If you're an investor, you want to keep the money in there because, you know, they're going to make 10, 20% on the money rather than, you know, whatever, 3% you put in the bank or two or one, whatever it is. So uh, if, you're, if they're not paying dividends, that free cash flow to equity is can be helpful in, in trying to figure out, okay, well, if they were paying dividends, how much could they pay? And that's kind of the idea behind it. Okay, um, I, that's it for the handouts. So anyway, I will, uh, yeah, don't forget we have, um, Meetings on Tuesday at six or any other time. If you need any help on anything, I'm free and I do not mind at all. Uh, scheduling class, uh, 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 tutoring times or whenever, you know, whenever it works for you. So, and don't be shy. I have nothing else to do. All right.